Okay. Here we are in the second lecture on Teotihuacan, the cursory art historical look at the civilization of Teotihuacan known, known for the, the pyramids. And today's lecture, this lecture is about mold making, scale, and, and entrance into an artwork or architecture and the kind of agency that implies or provides for a subject of a state in a highly populated, um, highly uh, dense, densely populated uh, living situation, such as Teotihuacan, which had somewhere from 150 to 200,000 people at its height in these, these compounds of 60 to 100 people. And in the center of these compounds were these incense burners. And the incense burners are, are fascinating archaeological objects. They're made up of, of mold-made ceramic pieces that were hung kind of delicately and could be rearranged. And these were in the, in the center of the compounds. So I'll just show a couple images of these to get us going. So yeah, this is a example of these kind of press molded objects and the incense would, would come out the back of this stove pipe. And you have these, these are typical, they're called adornos. And we have the first instance of, of mold making in a Mesoamerican, like kind of a mass production concept, which is which is intensely important for human civilization, right? What, what, what was the desire to make many objects that are the same with uh, right, removing the hand, removing the, the individuality from that? What, what could that mean? So I'll show maybe I'll show two more pictures of of an of these sensors. They're called the uh, these incense stacks. And then I will move on to, to talk about the flatbed picture plan. So here's one more image. So this is typical. The, the, the face is framed and kind of set back by this facade, by an architectural vibe of a facade of rearrangeable molded objects. So the first topic I want to get at is the flatbed picture plane. So maybe I'll show this image here. So on the left, you have a Rauschenberg, Robert Rauschenberg, a abstract expressionist um, from New York in the 50s and 60s and, and onwards. And on the, on the right, you have a, a mold for making a hat. And this, this slide kind of... Um, represents the uh, a main thread that I'm trying to get out here. Rauschenberg has has just put up these artworks on the wall and they're 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 pre-mades, ready-mades, they're pieces of cardboard that have not been affected that are just uh, arranged and hung and they're they're quite beautiful and they talk about in some ways they talk about the idea of the flatbed picture plane. And this was an idea proposed by uh by Steinberg who who I saw speak, amazing art historian. And um and the idea he 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 wrote it in this article called Other Criteria. And so this is um two other examples of Rauschenberg work. The, the one on the left is far later. I think it's like the 80s, but the, the bed is the classic Rauschenberg piece. And so here's a quote from Leo Steinberg. What he invented above all was, I think, a pictorial surface that let the world in again. Not the world of the Renaissance man who looked for his weather clues out the window, but the world of men who turned knobs to hear a taped message. Um, Rauschenberg's picture plane is for the consciousness immersed in the brain of the city. Um, I'll just keep reading a little bit more. To repeat, it is not the actual physical placement of the image that counts. There is no law against hanging a rug on a wall or reproducing a narrative picture as a mosaic floor. What I have in mind in this uh, is the psychic address of the image, its special mode of imaginative confrontation. So in this, in this article, Leo Steinberg references uh, this gentleman, De Buffet, as kind of a, an exemplary moment, uh, this, this French painter. And the idea is that the, the picture plane has been... Uh, has has turned into a surface that objects and culture 
can be attached to that you can hang on like with magnets or hooks right that 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 the renaissance window has has no longer no longer has kind of uh importance for for society and that that art is kind of this has become this has let culture in and it's more about the, the tangible presence of now no longer a kind of uh, a window um into some other into some other landscape and so we, we, he references this idea of the refrigerator and what we can hang we can hang objects on a fridge and 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 rearrange them and i think this is super um relatable to to the idea of the teotihuacan images because you have this um personal agency of, of the ability to 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 for whatever worship or spiritual um ritual you're going for there's this kind of moment of individualizing it of of having your own take on it right your own like riffing on it remixing it and so having mold made objects that you can rearrange and that you know the, the next apartment compound over has this same object and that that will be rearranged slightly differently we're we're starting to deal with with this space of the of the flatbed picture plane or or at least it could be it could be referenced um so in addition to the flatbed picture plane like, like it's something that's different but you could talk about it is like decoration so so what does it mean to decorate something right to hang these objects on a on a christmas tree and to what degree are you kind of playing a part in society and conforming and and yet feeling like you have this um this privacy of of choice making of decision making so if we we look at these objects in that way i think it it can be helpful now if we if we move from these incense burners and we bring it to the paintings, how does that conversation about the, the flatbed picture plane that, of course, this is a very messy thing to do, right? I'm grabbing an art historical concept from, from New York and, and laying it on this, uh, this culture uh, of Teotihuacan um, in a very like kind of formal decontextualized way, but what does it do to them to, to see them as kind of cultural surfaces where the the images are meant to be to be read in in a in a way other than a window Um, uh, an architectural example of, of painting or decorating surfaces um, exists in uh, Nibele, Africa. And these are not the images that I wanted to show, but it, it relates enough. It's just that this idea of um, adornment or, or, or taking a, a pre-existing structure or surface and, and decorating. And, and what is this, this idea of of decoration in terms of architecture and painting and making something yours right like claiming a space as as specific to your family and and your moment in time and how how flexible is that and the the flat the idea of the flatbed picture plane um can relate to that So yeah, we, we've talked about the paintings in terms of their flatness, but we haven't kind of gone into to what it could mean, the, the philosophy of, of having an image plane um, that, that is a place for culture rather than for art. 